What's good, everybody? Bass Drop Keys here. I'm your friendly neighborhood Negro, and welcome to another episode of Good Eats. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take regular unsalted butter and clarify it, turning it into ghee butter. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright, so one of the questions that I get on this channel almost daily is, can I use regular butter instead of clarified butter in order to make my can of butter? I always tell you guys the same thing whenever you ask me, unless you know how to clarify it yourself, you should go ahead and use the clarified butter. In this video, what I'm going to show you is how to take regular unsalted butter. If you have salted, you can use that as well, but obviously it's going to have a salty taste at the end product, how to use regular unsalted butter and clarify it, turning it into ghee butter. So as you can see right here, we're starting with 458 grams of butter or two cups. You're gonna place the butter in a heavy bottom pan under medium heat. If you have a one to 10 dial, I have mine at number five, four to five right now. We're gonna put the butter in the pan and we're gonna allow it to melt. Now, why it's melting, let's go ahead and go over what exactly is clarified butter. Well, butter is made up of three things, butter fat, water, and milk solids. Milk solids are the reason why the butter starts to burn at a lower temperature than something like olive oil. When you clarify butter, you remove all the milk solids and the water, but are left with the butter fat, which is what we want because that is how that is what we're infusing whenever we're making our can of butter. Now you see the cannabinoids and the fats, they're both hydrophobic, which means that the THC molecules dissolve and bind easily in the fat lipids. That butter fat, it dissolves and combines easily whenever it's heated together. This creates a higher smoke point, which makes the clarified butter ideal for cooking and sauteing. The process that I'm gonna show you is very simple, but is very effective. Clarified butter can only be made from butter, not milk. Like I told you before, I recommend using unsalted butter so that you only have the pure butter fat with no salty flavor at the end. But if you have salted butter, it will work just fine. Okay, so now that we got our butter already melted, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna continue to cook this over low heat. While the butter foams and bubbles, you may actually start getting some spattering. That's actually a good sign that the water is evaporating out of the butter. Like I told you before, we want the water to evaporate out of there we don't want that water to be inside of our butter because that is one of the reasons why you can actually store it on the counter shelf without refrigerating in it for a long period of time because there's no water in it. So it's going to stop it from getting mold or going bad. Now, as the milk solidifies, it's going to start sinking to the bottom of the pan. You're going to see bigger bubbles actually start forming. Once those bigger bubbles start forming and you see the white film on top of it and the milk solids actually fall to the bottom of the pan, it's actually done. And at this point, you're actually ready to go to the next step, which is skimming it or straining it. Now, the way that I like to do it is I'm gonna go ahead and strain this through a mesh strainer into a Pyrex measuring cup. Once I do that, you can see that there is still some foam uh, on the top there, that's when I go ahead and I skim the foam with a spoon. You guys know me, whenever I make butter, I always filter it twice. So if you look right here, you can see there's some particles at the bottom of the oil that I don't want in my particular butter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a coffee filter like we always do, and we're gonna pour the butter into the coffee filter and let it actually filter through the coffee filter so that there's no particles and our butter is clean, like you know we always want our butter clean. Now, once we do that, you can go ahead and pour it into whatever container 
you want an air uh, airtight container that you want to be able to put this in I have this mason jar right here with a lid that's gonna work just fine pour it inside of there and there we go if you just leave it in here over a period of time a couple hours you will actually see that it will actually solidify up and lighten up and it will be that nice golden color that you expect out of your ghee clarified butter now whenever you clarify butter you will lose about 20 percent of the volume that you started with and like i stated previously you do not have to refrigerate this butter use a airtight container put it in that leave it right on the counter and it will stay for at least six seven eight months or even more in some cases because we took the water out so you don't have to worry about it going bad one of the benefits of using ghee butter you don't have to refrigerate it there it is that's how you clarify regular unsalted butter so that now we can take this clarified butter and now it's prime to use to infuse and make our our special butter that we always love to make make sure that you come over and follow me on instagram i am bass drop keys on instagram come over and follow me i would love to hear from you any questions or concerns that you have come on over and follow me don't forget that every wednesday we go live right here on the good eats 420 youtube channel live with good eats 420 every wednesday we're moving the time the time is now going to be at 10 p.m eastern standard time every wednesday every wednesday night 10 p.m eastern we're going to go live here on the goodies 420 channel we may be answering questions we may be uh, cooking live whatever we're going to be doing come through come participate come be on the video you can actually join the video if you want to ask questions and what have you this video is sponsored by magicalbutter.com Use my name, Bass Drop Keys, to get 20% off your order at MagicalButter.com. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Until next time, guys, peace and good eats.